Assalamu alaikum this is Haisam Javed and you are watching yet another very interesting episode of Lab Versities Pakistan Studies so in today's class we are going to discuss about some of the rivers of Pakistan and over here we have a map which shows the eastern tributaries of river Indus whereas on this side we have a map which shows the western tributaries of river Indus so let us see the eastern tributaries of river Indus first if you see this map we have this river and this river is called river Indus then this one this one this one is called river Jhelum then we have this one and this is called river Chenab on the side we have this river this is called river Ravi then we have river Satlej and this one over here is river Panjnath. So what do we observe on this map? On this map we can see the route that Indus is taking and on its way it is being attached with different rivers which we call the tributaries of river Indus. So let us see the route of river Indus. At this point river Indus is entering into Pakistan it is flowing through this Kashmir region, going into this Gilgit Baltistan region and flowing downwards. From this Khyber Pakhtunkhwa region, it is taking a turn and then it is flowing into the Punjab region. And it flows southwards, it covers the rest of Punjab region and then flows downwards into the Sindh province and in the Sindh province it flows alone until it ultimately drains into the Arabian Sea. So what happens during its course? During its course it meets different rivers on the east so that is why we, we call it the eastern tributaries and which are those tributaries? You can see first that Jhelum and Chenab are combining over here and ultimately going on to meet river Indus then we see river Ravi and Satlej as well they combine and then ultimately all of these rivers go on to join river Indus but before joining river Indus at this confluence at this confluence Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi and Satlej meet and they form this river Panjnath which flows for about 72 kilometers until it joins river Indus and from this point onwards river Indus flows alone downwards southwards these rivers that we see over here the eastern tributaries of river Indus these are very long rivers and wide rivers these have more volume of water in them as compared to the western tributaries of river Indus and moreover they drain a very large area you can see all of Punjab and Sindh being covered over here so we can imagine the length of the area that they are covering over here now let us see the western tributaries of river Indus now we have a map over here and similarly we have labeled the rivers over here as well so this one is the Indus river so this one is the Indus river and then over here we can see on the western side that some of the rivers are trying to join river Indus from the west and these rivers that I have labeled over here these rivers are present in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province of Pakistan. So what do we see over here? We see this first one over here and this one is river Mastoon. Then we have this one and this one is called river Sawat. This one is called river Kabul. This one over here is called river Kurram. And lastly, this one over here is called River Goman. So what do we observe over here? We observe that these rivers as compared to the eastern tributaries, the western tributaries cover a very smaller area. And these rivers do not have much volume in them. I mean, if we talk about River Sawat and Kabul, these have more volume of water in them as compared to other western tributaries. Moreover, these rivers are short, these rivers are not much wide and these rivers cover a very small area. 
So, what did we learn in this class? We learned about the different tributaries of River Indus, the eastern tributaries of River Indus, the western tributaries of River Indus. It was just kind of a comparison over here between the two of the tributaries of River Indus. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Labversity.